Hey guys, this is a uh, furnace I built to incinerate IC chips and other electronic parts. It's uh, a uh, pressure cooker. That when I when I bought the thing, it had a rubber gasket in it, and that didn't last but one burn. So I bought this gasket material. From, uh, auto parts it didn't work real well and it's not sealing so it's it smokes pretty bad uh, so what I did was put this on there so I could scoop it and screw it down put pressure on it it helps some but I'm gonna have to look for a different pressure cooker but This thing, you can see this is a smokestack. We've got a pot in here that I got, uh, cut the handle off of it, build a couple of holes, put a coat hanger across there, put material in there like these IC chips, and I've got a bunch of stuff over here. This is a uh, board out of a laptop where you control the mouse. I've got these CPUs, fiber CPUs. They've got gold bonding wires in them that they say are one one hundredth of a micron thick. And a human hair is 30 microns, so that's one one hundredth of one micron. When everything melts and it gets ground up and everything, that uh, gold is such a fine powder, it's like talcum powder, and uh, probably finer than that. And you can't blow on it without blowing it all over the place. I've seen these guys use torches, and then they wonder where the gold went. So, you got to keep that in mind anytime you use things like that. But I put this on my stove. Of course, I'm not married, but anyway, you can put this, I put this on my uh, stove, it's a, uh, a natural gas stove. I wouldn't put it on an electric stove, because it'd probably burn the element out. I put it on a natural gas stove and let it sit for about three hours with the van hood going and everything two to three hours until it quits smoking and then let it burn a little bit more and turn it off and just let it cool off don't don't even try to grab it touch it or whatever until it gets cool and see what's left I take that stuff out and put it in the jar and put it on a rock tumbler which I've got another video out on that one this is another one I've got, a separate one for monolithic ceramic capacitors. I don't want to get any of that other stuff in this because I'm not going to be able to use part of my, my uh, recovery process on this stuff. I'm just going to have to get this all ground down and just put it in a forge or a, the I've got a furnace to melt the gold in. And, but I ground these up and they started clumping up and sticking to the side of the jar like this. Some kind of some kind of glue or something they use to attach those things with. Anyway, I thought I'd burn it and then regrind it and see how that works. And then put it in my furnace, melt it down, and see what I've got. Uh, I guess that's about it. You could use this outside on a burner on a uh, barbecue pit, propane, whatever. You could use it on one of those stand up, stand alone propane burners. It would work that way. But. Whenever you start on it or anything, 
Be sure and keep your safety equipment around. When I had my fire extinguishers here when I started on this thing. So, y'all be safe. See you next time. Bye.